The value of people in a post-apocalyptic civilization is defined by a number that is imprinted on their body. They will be plunged into a pit of darkness if it ever drops to zero. When Hina receives a glass ball with 10,000 within and is instructed to discover the legendary ace with the white star, she can witness her mother being dragged into the depths. Before seeing Licht, a disguised pervert fool, and his employer Nana, who explains that everyone must follow commands from those with a higher number, Hina looks for five years. Hina reveals that her number, 441, stands for the 44,100 miles she has traveled on foot. When she meets him, a sergeant major with a star on his face claims to be the ace. He tries to harass her until she displays the 10,000 ward, which he mistakes for a ballot and tries to take. She commands him to halt since Hina has a greater number. But after tricking her into a star stake, where they wager on their respective numbers, he brutally defeats her and steals her 440, leaving her with just one. He admits he is not the ace because the ace has long since passed away. And the mythology of the ace is 300 years old, unexpectedly showing up. Licht wagers his own number, which is minus 999. The sergeant recognizes that, barring Licht being a ballot holder with a numbered ballot to artificially elevate his number over zero, such a number is not feasible as they engage in combat. With a white star and the number 57 O printed on his blade, Licht exposes himself to be Lichtbach, the real legendary ace. The Waste War, an international conflict, raged several centuries ago. The Aces, a group of fighters who distinguished themselves with extraordinary strength feats, disappeared after the conflict. Licht effortlessly defeats the soldiers thanks to his extraordinary speed, proving that his feet are strong enough to break the ground, as opposed to minus 999, which stands for the number of women who have rejected him. Nana explains that 57 O represents the number of his enemies that he has vanquished. The sergeant is easily vanquished by Licht, who also gives Hina some of hers back in addition to cutting his number to one. Lick takes 10,000 ballots from Hina and gives her a cuddly animal in exchange. Hina is heartbroken over losing her mother's keepsake. Boats are illegal. Therefore Lick hid the ballot in the doll and pretended to steal it in front of witnesses so the military would only look for him and leave Hina alone. Nana tells later. Hina begs Lick not to leave while sobbing. But when he refuses, she cries that she hates him, lowering his score from minus 999 to minus 1000. The army ignores Hina and starts looking for Licht because they think he has the ballot. Master Sergeant Lin Mei and Sergeant Peel Paporo are stationed in a peaceful community, where Lin volunteers and raises her count based on the number of people in need she helps. Lin captures a nearby masked man who happens to be Licht based on a description of Licht. He does, however, keep his privacy by disclosing his negative 1000 and lamenting the women who turned him down. Lin tries to make Licht feel better by setting them up on a pity date, on Peel's awful advice. However, because Lick's constant groping makes the wicked Licht feel better, Lin's count goes up. To disclose Lick's identity, Lin takes off his mask. After robbing Lin of her sword, Licht finds out that Lin is also a martial artist. She becomes so disturbed by Lick's flirtation during their brief argument that he can flee when she shuts her eyes expecting a kiss, much to her displeasure. She chases Licht across the hamlet, where a few misunderstandings lead to the locals believing she and Licht are fighting over a lover. When she laments that her uniform always reveals her underwear, Licht escapes once more. Hina decides she needs to let Licht know about Lieutenant Murdoch, but she can't because they must fix Nana's wagon first. When Murdoch and his soldiers unexpectedly attack him, Licht protects Lin from damage. Murdoch's number is revealed to be 900, giving rise to the moniker Iron Jail, along with his ballot, which lets him to make iron weapons. Licht is unexpectedly overwhelmed, and Murdoch admits that he is hiding his real number which is 12,500, more than twice Lick's number. Lick's sword is available to Murdoch, but he gives it back. He discloses that his number stands for his convictions, and that his convictions are what make his indestructible iron weapons stronger. He traps Lick, forcing him to give up. Murdoch claims that Lick was a soldier because of the way he fights. After Lick refuses to respond, Murdoch decides to torture him. However, Lin steps in and is hurt. Murdoch scolds Lin for not punishing criminals in favor of her charitable endeavors because he finds it repugnant. Lick breaks free of his constraints, demonstrating his innate ability to dismantle the Murdoch iron. Lick demands an apology from him for saying Lin is lazy, even though she routinely outperforms everyone, as he and Murdoch reveal their true powers. After their altercation causes a cliff to collapse, Lin falls, and when Murdoch tries to rescue her out of penitence, Lick catches her first. He succeeds in insulting her, which enraged her and lowers his count to 101. Murdoch accepts her from him after that, allowing him to flee. After finding Lick, Hina and Nana inform him that all roads have been closed because of his conflict with Iron Jail Murdoch. Hina chastises Licht for leaving her and acts as though she envies him that he is fighting for another lady. To save Pelmo from dying after falling from an experimental aircraft, Licht must intervene. 
Even though investigating flight is a crime punishable by death, Pelmo asks Licht and Hina to assist her in achieving her dream of flying. Despite Hina's admiration, Licht alters her most recent design but worries that he may have endangered her. Licht is questioned by Hina about his dream, but he refuses to share it, stating instead that he wants to see her undies. After finishing the new airplane, Pelmo interrupts. Soldiers show up, forcing Licht to shoot down the plane. The soldiers decide that the wings were simply harmed windmill sails, and they walk away. According to Pelmo, her cat was dependent on her dreams materializing, but it dropped each time one of her airplanes didn't take off until it eventually dwindled to zero. Hina tries to save her, but the abyss fights back. While trying to save Hina, Licht has a horrific flashback when the abyss strikes his sword. Pelmo swears to come back one day as he happily plunges into the abyss, believing that it is not death but rather the portal to another realm. The numbers flash and Lick's left eye almost knocks him out. After Hina asks Lick to stay in her sleep, Lick ultimately chooses to stay after giving it some thought. After catching up with Lick, Lin praises him for saving her and makes an arrest attempt. After meeting, Lin and Hina start telling each other about Lick they know and get upset with him. They come to a wounded soldier from a nearby village that was destroyed. Nobody is found by Murdoch. The town's neighboring lake has disappeared beneath a large fissure. According to a wounded soldier, a fire-breathing demon appeared from the depths. Murdoch is adamant that the voter must be a skilled shooter. When taking the soldier to the next town for medical care, Lin and Peel run across Licht, Hina, and Nana. Murdoch confronts Licht because he thinks Licht is in the know. They have a drinking contest instead of fighting because Nana fiercely discourages it. Alcohol-impaired Murdoch accuses Licht of being the legendary ace and asks the army why they are looking for him. Nana decides to join Murdoch in his alcohol use after Licht incites him to do so. After just one wine glass, Lin becomes drunk and inquiries about Hina and Licht's connection. Finally, Licht and Murdoch fall asleep. Both Hina and Lin try to let Licht use their laps as a pillow. The lake abyss appears out of nowhere, obliterating a section of the town and making an odd noise. While Licht hears the sound, Murdoch issues an order for the evacuation of the populace. He claims that the sound cannot exist because the Waste War wiped out all demons of this type. He and Murdoch watch as the gap expands, revealing the demon to be a cutting-edge chopper outfitted with machine guns and missiles. As the chopper attacks, Lick commands everyone to seek cover, but Murdoch objects to Lick taking charge. Murdoch wonders how a criminal could be a colonel when Lick confesses that he is a colonel in the military, drawing the attention of the helicopters. Everyone starts to cheer as Lick attacks the chopper, but the abyss stops him. Lin reveals that the arms of the abyss are known as Allthing in the military. While Lick attacks him, Allthing tries to grab the chopper, but the onslaught continually stuns him. Murdoch rejects Hina's request for help since attacking Allthing is a capital offense and he won't stand for anyone breaking the law. Murdoch, however, accidentally misplaces his glasses. When Murdoch strikes Allthing because he is unable to see any legal infractions, all the soldiers simultaneously lose their vision. Licht is astonished when he enters the helicopter's cockpit when they build him a ladder. The helicopter is abruptly shot down by Sanohara Mizuka, the homicidally deranged ace of pursuit who is in possession of the number 32,000. When she shoots Murdoch and starts killing people, it becomes clear that she is preoccupied with following out the last directive Lick gave her during the Waste War to kill everyone. Lick's real name is Rahito, as revealed by Sanohara, and she threatens to kill a nearby child unless he turns back to his previous vicious behavior and kills her. The instant Lick cracks, she kills her men and their corpses vanish. Hina and Murdoch are ultimately given his identification by Licht. He wants to take over the entire country since he is the plunderer. During the star stake between Licht and Sanohara, Licht gets shot numerous times in the chest. The number on Licht's blade increases dramatically to 57,000 as he moves so quickly that Sanohara is unable to see him. Nana discloses that a malicious alternative ego named Schmelman has seized control of Licht. After Schmelman defeats Sanohara, her count falls to 16,000, which makes Nana believe that she too had been manipulated by an evil personality. Sanohara was the friendliest of the aces and had never harmed anybody, but someone must have poisoned her to battle Licht in the hopes that Schmelman would emerge, according to Nana, who is knowledgeable about Licht's past. When Hina desperately clings to him, Schmelman almost kills her, Sanohara intervenes to save her. Schmelman experiences a flashback to the time she and Licht were in high school in contemporary Japan. Despite having a bullet in his chest, Murdoch confronts Schmelman. Schmelman breaks down in tears and says he kills people, so his pals don't have to. Schmelman is knocked unconscious by Murdoch's Iron Warrior, who decides to respect this by using all his might to battle and turn Schmelman back into Lick. 
Murdoch's injuries cause him to lose consciousness. A soldier discloses that the general's name is General Schmelman Bach as he tells numerous young children an alternative, sinister rendition of the tortoise and the hare. The unfinished business with all things stops licked from leaving, so he starts abusing the girls, barring Hina, as he recovers his star stake with San O'Hara. Murdoch's adoring but naive adoptive father, Supreme Commander Alexandrov Gregorovich, summons him. Murdoch seeks details regarding the black uniformed warriors of San O'Hara. The Special Services Unit, or SSU, which provides spies, kidnappers, and assassins for the royal family, is who they are, according to Gregorovich. According to Gregorovich, who discloses that the aces are surgically altered human weapons for the Waste Wars, Licht was the strongest member of the squad. Because the aces ceased aging because of the procedure, Licht is still living today. Murdoch's number has unexpectedly been dropped to 12,499 and Gregorovich demands to know Lick's whereabouts. The number falls to 12,498 because of Murdoch's deception, and Gregorovich admits that he, too, is aware of who assaulted Althing. Murdoch comes back to seize Lick after he hands himself up. A nearby snitch tells that they want Lick to keep robbing, before attempting to arrest Lick. Lick asks Murdoch a series of questions to see if he is being blackmailed. When Murdoch consistently lies, Lick reduces his number to 12,496. Nana admits to being an ace and, using an unidentified power, brings Murdoch, Hina, Peel, and Lin to present Day Japan to convince them to change the past where she failed. Japanese high school students San O'Hara and Lick, formerly known as Rahito, are involved. When they encounter a juvenile after following Rahito into the school, Murdoch learns that his ballot is missing, and he is no longer in control of iron. Captain Allen and Lieutenant Firenda explain that Japan is the only remaining country after a world war and that the institution is a military academy. Before giving Allen the order to shoot three laughing recruits, the headmaster, Major Schmelman, begins by reading his interpretation of the tortoise and the hare. Rahito is instructed by Schmelman on how to break his neck but rejects his advice and offers to take Hina's life instead, oblivious to Schmelman's lethal aura. Firenda diffuses the tension by explaining that the reason the recruits are still alive is that Alan used paint bullets to emphasize the value of obeying orders. Murdoch is puzzled by the fact that Rahito is plainly a young licked but does not resemble him, while Schmelman is intrigued by Rahito's potential. Peel tries to look up information about all thing online but is blocked. Instead, Alan reveals that Althing was a highly developed technology of unidentified origin that fell to Earth during the conflict. Humanity elected to eliminate nuclear weapons and end all violence since it had the power to force all people to submit to its will. However, there were unanticipated repercussions that Alan will not disclose. Murdoch starts to wonder whether Nana isn't just trying to aid Licht, but also wants them to learn the real story about Althing and rescue their future society.